నమస్తే ఐ ఆమ్ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ ఆర్ నితాన్ ఫిజిషియన్ తంగం హాస్పిటల్ పాలక్కాడ్ టుడే ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ద ఎన్షియన్ హీలింగ్ మెథడ్స్ ఫర్ కాంబాక్టింగ్ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ these techniques have to be used only as an ancillary treatment these techniques can be used for prevention of covid and can be used by covid patients who are mildly positive and also for people who are having primary contacts with the covid patient for combating covid nearly we have to raise our immunity levels so all the points discussed will be to raise the immunity levels one is tibetan rice these are used by the lamas of tibet since the ancient days it is simple that you stretch your arms like that perpendicular and you have to rotate the body clockwise direction in a clockwise direction 21 times you do it only on the clockwise direction and slowly you can start from 2 and every day you raise the rotation by 2 more such that you have to rotate 21 times every day morning after emptying the bladder you can do the rotations this increases the immunity level it is very good for the upper respiratory tract and the sinuses next is diet the we have to consume tulsi leaves cinnamon turmeric neem garlic pepper etc while drinking milk you can add turmeric powder and drink you can put tan krishna tulsi leaves in a jar and pour water over it and the next day morning you can chew the tulsi leaves along with two to three pe- black pepper and drink the water this tulsi cinnamon turmeric etc are available now in organic india and padanjali so you can get it easily you have to have exposure to sunlight for at least 30 minutes a day the sunlight exposure not only increases the vitamin d levels it also our charges our main chakras the energy centers in the body so while in the morning early morning while drinking coffee or tea or reading newspapers you have to get exposed to sunlight next is surya namaskar that you can learn from the youtube or from a yoga master for people who can do it it is very well good 
people with mild positive symptoms or people who are primary contacts or those who want those who are exposed to the virus they can do surya namaskar every day do according to your capacity then is most important is what is called as jalaniti that is you are cleaning your nostrils with the saline water warm saline water as you know this covid virus will die about 35 degrees centigrade it first colonizes in the nostrils so by doing this you can eliminate the virus 100% what you have to do is is you have to get a native port if it is not available you take a small jar with a side tube you take half a teaspoon of salt and mix it in a glass of water and and pour it into the tube into the pot you have to stand erect and you tend to one side and put the tube of the side tube of the pot on the upper nostrils and the water will run down to the lower nostrils again you turn to the other side put water on the upper nostrils water will flow down from the lower nostrils so after the water has fully flown down you close the lower nostrils and you sneeze to the upper nostrils again close the lower nostrils and force the sneezing through the upper nostril standing erect also you can close one nostrils and blow out through the other nostrils the same way close here and blow out through the other nostrils this is very good for eliminating the viruses this can be done by people who are normal who are exposed to the virus or primary contacts and for covid patients with mild symptoms like cough next is pranayama so pranayama increases the oxygen concentration of of the blood it opens the air sacs in your lungs so first is anloma viloma pranayama that is you close one nostril with the thumb inhale through the other nostrils then if you can hold hold for a few seconds then close the this nostrils exhale through the other nostrils then again inhale through this nostrils close both nostrils hold for a few seconds then exhale through this nostrils for people who cannot find a difficulty to hold the breath does not matter you can do inhalation and exhalation actually the ratio is 1 is to 4 is to 2 for example if you take inhalation for a count of 4 you hold for a count of 16 and exhale for a count of 8 so that is the anloma viloma breathing then is called the surya vedi pranayama virus uh, will not multiply in the when the body is hot so you have to increase the body temperature so that you breathe through only the one nostril only close the left nostril 
and inhale and exhale through the right nostril. And you can also uh, place your arm in the axilla of the left side and do this. This will make the right nostril open and the flow will be easy. Next is two pranayamas. One is Bhastri and Abhalavadi. One is you inhale and exhale rapidly like that. Like that. You can do for a count of 50, 100, 200 or 300 depending on your capacity. This will remove all the toxins from the lung and it increases the oxygenation of blood. Other is rapid exhalation, forced the rapid exhalation. That is you are inhaling, inhalation is passive and exhalation is active. Like this. In this, you are contracting the abdomen fast and forcefully. So, inhalation is passive and exhalation is active. The other important pranayama is primary pranayama. That is, you inhale, hold for a few seconds and exhale for a humming sound. You can, uh, while exhaling, you can use the humming sound or the mantra OM like this. So, by humming, what happens is that nitric oxide production in the nasal mucosa and upper respiratory tract is increased. Increased concentrations of nitric oxide will kill the virus. So, this primary pranayama, that is exhalation with a humming sound, can be done with done by all patients and patients who are to people who are exposed to the patients also. Then what we have to do is next is mudras. Certain mudras are important. It increases the immunity. One is prana mudra. That is, you are holding the tip of, touching the tip of the tongue with the little finger and ring finger and middle finger and forefinger are to be kept straight like this. You have to do this for 45 minutes every day in both the fingers. This will increase the immunity. Next is called the Linga Mudra. That is, you make, you interlock your fingers, let the thumb of left thumb be put up upwards and you have hold the encircling the left thumb with the right thumb. You hold this for 45 minutes. It will increase the heat in the body. It will decrease the congestion of the lungs. And 
is the expectation of the sputum. This is Linga Mudra. Next is Surya Mudra. That is the ring finger is placed on the base of the thumb. You are holding the ring finger with the thumb. This will increase the body heat. This increases the immunity. Next is Avan Vayu Mudra that increases the oxygenation of the lungs. It is good for the heart also. It gives protection to the heart also. For this the forefinger is bent and it is allowed to touch the base of the thumb and the tip of middle finger and ring fingers this touch each other. The little finger is free and cut straight. So if you have any difficulty in breathing, use this mudra while walking or anything. This is good for the heart, this is good for the lungs also. Next is Asma Mudra. For that you the tip the nails of the middle finger are opposed to each other. The other fingers are kept like this. This increases the alveoli of the lungs. Opens up the alveoli of the lungs. And oxygen transfer is maintained. So people, COVID patients with difficulty in breathing. The symptoms when started early you can do this. It will help you in overcoming the shortness of breath. Then is the bronchitis mudra. This you are touching the, you are basing the touch to be uh, touching the base of the thumb with the little finger and the middle finger touches the this portion this joint and ring finger touches this point and middle finger touches above This way, you have to place like that, increase the expulsion of sputum. This mudra will increase the oxygenation of the lungs also. Another mudra is you hold the tip of the tongue together and the uh, forefinger touches and this should be kept downwards. This also increases the oxygenation of the lungs. Next is meditation on breath because most of the people with COVID and the normal people are also having undue anxiety. So what you have to do is you have to concentrate on your breath. The movement of air going in and out through the lungs. For this you have to sit in a chair. The spine should be erect or sit in a on the floor in the cross leg position and the spine should be erect always and uh, you close your eyes and watch your breath watch the air going through the nostrils entering 
the throat and going down through your lungs on exhalation watch the air moving out from the lungs going out from the throat and the both the nostrils there should not be any force breathing just be aware of the breathing this will uh, you go on continue for 4 to 5 minutes it will makes the mind calm and there is healing meditation for this also you have to sit cross leg over a mat on the floor or sit erect in a chair you place your fingers like this the tip of the thumb touches the tip of the four finger and keep it over the knees and you you visualize your favorite god or goddesses standing in front of you and from the hand of the god or goddesses a silver colored light the color of lightning it comes on the right hand of the god or goddesses it enters the crown of your head and it goes through the whole of the vertebra it diffuses into the whole body from the head to toe it reaches each and every cell of your body cleanses your body removes all the toxins and you are completely refreshed this will help in calming the body and mind then there are a few marmas described by the ancient sages like agastya one is below the ear the lower part of the ear here you press you find a small depression here similarly here you press here you find a small depression place your middle finger there or thumb and press inside and upwards for the five times next is you see this as the ear touches the skull there is a small depression so you continue to press with the ear thumbs upwards five times then on back of the ear there is a bony prominence here here also there is a bony prominence you with the four finger and middle finger you place it there and make clockwise and anti clockwise rotations next you press the nipples with the thumb inwards press five to six times this will also increase the immunity then the other point is between the eyebrows this place you place your middle finger and four finger and make clockwise and anti clockwise rotation so another point is you take 
10 finger breaths from this point are already mentioned. 4, 4, 8, then there's 2 here. This point you make 2 and 4 motions 5 times. Another point is as you bend your neck, you see a bony projection here over the back of the neck. Just above that, rotate clockwise and anti clockwise. These are the marma points described by the ancient sages. Next is the mantras. One is described by Adi Shankarajarya. In news times, there was smallpox epidemic, and to counter that, he has devised this mantra. So, the mantra is Shreem. S H R E E M. Shreem. So you have to visualize the mandra entering through the crown of your head, going through the center of the vertebral column and finally it diffuses all over the body and it reaches each and every cell of the body. You have to say one not eight times, shreem, 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 shreem. Next is another symbol. This was devised by ancient lamas of Tibet. This you have to draw in the body. First, you draw a line like this from the head. It goes down. It circles the umbilicus like that. Then, another line goes from here and meets it. First you draw a line like this, it goes down and encircles the umbilicus. Next another line from here and it goes down and touches the, this previous line. Then you draw seven spikes like that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then draw a line downwards. Another line also upwards from the starting point. Seven spikes. This is motor shana. So visualize the motor shana entering from the crown of the head. You chant it three times and visualize violet light coming one feet above from above and it takes the crown of the head and it goes through the whole body and this violet light will kill all the viruses. You have to visually treat dust. This was to be done by all the people with COVID positivity and people with symptoms. Then in, you have to, the Hindus, you have to chant the Narayana Kavach. So you can go through the ancient books and find it out, Narayana Kavach. Then for all people who are believers and non-believers, you can protect a, you can use a protective armor, with geo reset. That is the sunlight rays. First you imagine a violet color coming from above and it goes and covers all of your body. Next, indigo color. 
it it is out of the violet rays it you visualize narmar with indigo color then with blue color yellow color orange color and finally red color and then silver color and the last is golden color that completely protects you with geo s is it so this will give good protection to your body then first and foremost is that our immunity will go down if we are frightened or anxious or depressed so we have to increase our immunity for the most uh, points mentioned yeah, previously will come back the immunity and also reduce the your tension the pranayamas mudras meditation all will decrease the anxiety and depression and fear so there are certain mudras you can practice one is called as uh, one mudra is soham mudra that is you touch the thumb with the palm that the tip of the thumb will be at the root of the little finger both sides you have to you have to be in 45 minutes this will bring the tension anxiety and fear this is mainly for fear then another is called as yoni shunya mudra for this you touch the nail of the thumb with the four finger other fingers are kept like this which will also decrease the fear next is depression so for depression you are to one is jnana mudra gyan mudra you touch the tip of the thumb with the tip of the four finger like this all mudras are to be done for 45 minutes for maximum benefit next is shivalinga mudra place the right hand like this over the palm the four fingers touch the base of uh, the palm of the right of the right hand and the right thumb is kept straight and it is placed on the palm of the left hand other is agash mudra you touch the tip of the thumb with the tip of the middle finger so these three mudras you have to be familiar next is there are certain marma points you have to get activated one is see this from the from the front of the ear that that touches the skull from that point three fingers above three finger buds above this point you make upward motion with the middle finger similarly here from this point three fingers just in front of the ear there is a depression three fingers above it you make upward movements with the middle finger next is 
here in between the eyebrows you for the fourth finger and middle finger we take clockwise and anti clockwise rotation half finger breadth above it we also do the same thing for clockwise and anti clockwise rotation from this point two finger breadth above also you do clockwise and anti clockwise rotation from this point three finger breadth above also you do it then from this point in between the eyebrows you take eight finger breadth rotation and here till come here in the crown of the head you make two and fro movements with the three middle three fingers so this will remove the depression next is whenever you feel anxious or or depressed what you have to do is do is there is another mudra you will touch the tip of the thumb with the three fingers ring finger is pointing and place it over the left palm you close your eyes Within two to three minutes, your mood will change. You will be happy. This is called as laughter mudra. So laughter is the best medicine, and you will be benefited by this. You know the subconscious mind is the healer. subconscious mind is mind is active when you are sleeping and when you are just going going to sleep while in bed and soon after getting up in the early morning so you have to do some affirmations that will increase your courage and immunity and make you happy before you go to bed and soon after you get up from the bed say 10 times i am happy i am healthy i am full of joy say this at least 10 times this will make you happy and healthy so these are the points for combating covid 19 main thing is to increase your immunity don't get frightened with the news that is circulated through newspapers or other media because you have to have confidence in yourself you are a healer no it is not the drugs nor the oxygen or any other equipments that is healing you you are a healer that those other things only support you only so you can people who are my covid positive and have mild symptoms and people with who are having primary contact with the patients and normal healthy patients and can also do this for patients you can also contact the doctor if there are any problems this techniques are only to help you it will definitely help you you for any problems you have you have to contact the doctor and do accordingly so may god bless you namaste